Today on Science vs. Cinema, we're exploring the science of Black Panther. In this segment, Vibranium. How does it work? Hey, wait a minute. The nanites absorb the kinetic energy and hold it in place for redistribution. Vibranium is awesome stuff. It can absorb energy, store it, and redirect it. That's what allows Captain America's shield to take a blow from a god. Black Panther's suit is made of the same stuff, which not only makes him bulletproof, it gives him the energy to flip a car. Of course, vibranium is fictional, but are there any real world materials that can do the same thing? We want to turn kinetic energy, the energy of motion, into potential or stored energy. I used a pendulum in my classroom to illustrate these concepts turning potential energy into kinetic energy. So right now I've got potential energy, but when I release it, it'll have kinetic energy. So I'm gonna put it right up here by my face, and let it go. Now, I know it won't hit me in the face because physics, it can only get as much kinetic energy out as potential energy was put in. There are plenty of cases where we want to dissipate kinetic energy over a short distance to stop a fast-moving object. Bulletproof vests have woven layers of the polymer Kevlar to slow down bullets. The International Space Station has a Whipple shield. Several layers of protective metal and Kevlar shielding offset from each other. The outer layer breaks up micrometeorites on impact, dispersing them over a large area while subsequent layers stop it. Now on highway off-ramps, we've all seen yellow barrels with black tops called Fitch barriers. They're filled with sand. If you run into them with your car, the kinetic energy goes into breaking the barrel and dispersing the sand. They were developed by race car driver John Fitch after a tragic accident where his co-driver veered into a crowd, killing 85 people. So I did it myself. You know, I got some old cars and I got some liquor crates and ordered sandbags from the local supplier of, and worked the formulas out for every one of the modules as the speed decreased and what the weight should be. And I did it in longhand before there were calculators. But is there a way to turn the energy that goes into deforming something into electricity? Yes, that's the piezoelectric effect. When you put piezoelectric materials under mechanical stress, the positive and negative charges shift, generating an electric field. To demonstrate the piezoelectric effect, I've got a little crystal here, and when I push it, it's actually rearranging the charges, and that's causing a current to flow through this wire and lighting up this little light. So you can turn impacts into stored energy. There's even a nightclub partially powered by people dancing. Piezoelectric materials also have the inverse effect. If you apply an electric field, they deform. Maybe that explains how the suits got depowered in the train tracks fight in Black Panther. You won't have protection! Neither will he. The problem with the piezoelectric effect is that it only generates a tiny amount of electricity. Fortunately, there's a better way, induction. We're gonna see if we can turn energy of motion into electricity. So I got a magnet here. And if I move it relative to a conductor, there's copper wire, we can generate a current that you can see from the deflection of this needle. Let's see if we can generate some electricity with some kinetic energy. So I've got a mass here, it's gonna be suspended from this wire, and as it pulls this wheel, it's gonna turn a magnetic field, and that should generate an electric current that should light this light bulb. Let's see if it works, all right. Go check it out. We got the uh, light bulb being lit, so we're turning kinetic energy into electricity. Maybe that's how Black Panther suit works. Tesla and Westinghouse built a power plant to do this using Niagara Falls in 1893. Today, the Niagara hydroelectric stations generate a quarter of the electricity in New York State and Ontario. I know Black Panther isn't real, but it isn't just made up nonsense either, it really is grounded in science. That's thematically central to the movie. The success of Wakanda comes from studying nature and harnessing its secrets to make the world a better place. And that's what science is all about. Bullet wounds don't just magically heal overnight. 
They do here, but not by magic, by technology. If you like this segment, check out the rest on Black Panther and subscribe to Science vs. Cinema. I'm an astrophysics professor, but I'm also a huge film geek. On this show, we take a look at the science in movies. We celebrate when they get it right. It's something that could actually happen. And we school them when they get it wrong. See what happens when we introduce some Martian wind. This is Science vs. Cinema. <laughs>